it's Hal Jacobs here. I'm on the 11th tee at the Haven Country Club, and uh, I was just about to, to hit a tee shot, but I thought that I'd take a second or two and talk about uh, wear and tear on a glove um, and what's good, what's not good. Uh, so I'm going to keep the glove on my hand. I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, walk through. This glove is seen about... Uh, Oh, probably about a month's worth of hitting balls and, and uh, playing a little bit. So uh, let me show you a little bit of wear and tear. All right, so the, the first part that I'm going to talk about is a little bit of wearing on the palm of your hand. It's, a, it's, it's actually this part right here of the hand uh, that sees a little wear, and, and that's normal. If you are uh, seeing tears in your glove not, uh, not long after you've put it on and have been playing, then there's a lot of movement of the club in your hand. And uh, I'll show you a drill on, on what to do um, to find out. Uh, you've got, I've got a little bit of a wear on my thumb, my, my left thumb. Uh, and then there's a little bit of wear um, right here on, on, on my index finger. And that's from uh, where the two hands come together and are touching. Um, so those are the three uh, what I would call good wear spots. You should never have wear in this part of the, the grip. That means that you're gripping it too much in the palm of your hand. And then a little bit of a wear because the club is going right across your fingers. So if you get a wear mark over here, it's too much in the palm of your hand as well. All right, so here's my drill for uh, checking to see if you have a decent grip or at least to see if the grip is moving around in your golf swing. Uh, I've got a T. I'm going to get close to the camera here, and I'm going to put that T right into the grip. Now, now that I've got that T in the grip, I'm going to make my swing and hit the shot, and make sure that that T doesn't fall out of your grip. So, get up here and hit the shot. And the tee is still in my grip, right in this corner. I would really recommend that you hit actual shots because a lot of people's practice swings are very different than when they actually swing. I've seen students that get to the top and go like that. Now the tee falls out and there's a lot of movement in the club when you're re-gripping at the top or maybe the bottom. So use that tip uh, to help you and see where the glove is wearing. Normal wear and tear on the glove is, is, is good. Uh, as long as it was in the points that I showed you earlier in the video. All right, one more thing, and then I promise I will leave you alone with this video. Uh, this is how I recommend storing your gloves. Uh, when you're done, it's hot, it's humid. If you crumple up your glove and it looks like that, it's going to be pretty nasty when you go put it back on uh, the next day. I would highly recommend uh, making sure your gloves are open. There's some airflow to dry them and that way your gloves will last longer next time you're on the golf course.